I'm Steve for This Week with Cars, and recently I've had a lot of questions about gasoline. I've had questions about how do my cars start up when they've been sitting for so long with the same fuel in them. I've also had a lot of questions about how I deal with ethanol fuels, and I've had a lot of people think that it's a nightmare for me to deal with the fuel that's in my cars. So I thought today I'd show you the differences between the gas stations here and the petrol stations in the UK or Australia, and also the difference between my region of the United States and possibly fuel stations in other parts of the country. So I'm going to take my Mini down to a couple gas stations and I'll show you how it works here. Here we are at the pump and here in Iowa there are two major local fuel stations and that is Come and Go and Casey's which you can see across the street. Both of these stations are based here in Iowa and are the two most common that you will come across. So the blends that these stations have may be different than what we find at the other national chain fuel stations. You can see at this pump we have several grades available. We have two that contain a lot of ethanol, E85 and E15. And then we have three grades of unloaded, an 87 octane, a 91 octane, and a 93 octane. And you see the label above the 91 octane, it says contains no ethanol. This is very common here in the region and the only fuel that I put into my cars. If you were to use any of the blends that do contain ethanol, it could eat the seals quickly in your carburetor and fuel pump and the fuel seemed to go bad very quickly. The pump behind where I was parked also contains diesel. And unlike in the UK, the diesel pump is usually colored green, while the regular grades are usually colored red or black. Most pumps in the United States will accept a credit card and you can pay right from the pump. You insert your card, pump your fuel, and that's it, you can leave. Otherwise, you can go inside up to the counter and prepay for a certain amount or just pump the amount that you want and then go inside and pay later. Although I am seeing pumps that allow you to pay later less and less frequently. Another difference between pumps here in countries like in the UK and Australia is this hold open clip. And that is so you don't have to hold the pump when you're pumping your fuel in. It will automatically click and shut off when your tank gets full. And now you can see I can let go and it will automatically pump the fuel in. It even has a little spring so it'll sit there and hang all on its own. Once the fuel gets up to a certain level, it detects that there is no more air in there and it'll shut off automatically like it just did right there. If I try to hit it again, it will not pump any more fuel because the tank is now at a full level. Let's go check out a few more pumps and see what they say on them. This is the other of the most common fuel stations in my state. And you can see there right under premium that it says no ethanol. Now gas right now for no ethanol fuel is about $3.75. It was $1.50 cheaper just one year ago. Let's take a look at some of the big chain stations and see what they look like. This station here is a Phillips 66 station. And you can see the premium does not say anything about ethanol. Whereas the 89 and 87 octane grades say contains up to 10% ethanol. So you know the 91 octane fuel here does not contain any ethanol. I've stopped at one last fuel station. This is a high V station. This is our local supermarket and this would be similar to getting petrol out of the pump at a Tesco. At this pump diesel is green as it is in most places in the US although some stations the diesel has black handles. Here you can see we have two 87 grades and that's because the middle one contains ethanol and the one on the left does not. 
you can see that there is a big price difference between fuels that have ethanol and those that don't. You pay about 30 cents more per gallon for fuel without the ethanol in it. So to answer a few questions, I don't put ethanol fuels into my cars. That's how they can sit for so long and still be started and they don't have any issues from ethanol. The only cars that I might put ethanol fuels into are modern race cars. To get the high octane rating, most racing fuels contain a large portion of ethanol to get that higher octane rating. I would like to note that if I have a car that for some reason I think might sit around for more than a year without getting a fresh tank of fuel in it, I will put leaded race fuel into it and that fuel seems to last a very long time. After reading a lot of the comments on my previous videos, fuel around the world must be completely different than my situation here. It sounds like the only choice that some of you have is to put ethanol fuel into your vehicles. Comment below and let me know what selections are available to you where you live. I hope this video has been informative and if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.